Hi, my name is Janet Wright, and I am a professional energy healer and reader. And this video is part of my video playlist about having strong energy boundaries. And in particular, this video covers being in your body, uh, which is also known as being present, also referred to as being in the moment. Okay, those all mean the same thing. Uh, you know, those expressions like uh, it's about the journey, life is about the journey, or like, uh, you know, relax and smell the roses. Um, so even if your normal day is not particularly relaxing at this moment in time, <laughs> I think it is still very important and possibly very beneficial for you to think about how present are you? Uh, your spirit, you're not your physical body, okay? This, you know, you have a physical body just like I have a physical body, right? Arms, legs, all that good stuff. Um, but you are not your physical body, okay? So uh, when your life is over, your spirit is still um, unique and still exists. Uh, your spirit crosses over and is okay, you know? So your spirit right now, you're a human being spirit and you are here in this lifetime, okay? And in this lifetime, you either have a female body or a male body or, you know, that's the basic idea. So of course I have a female body, right? But as a spirit, I, if I'm gonna be in the moment, that means my spirit is going to be in my physical body and around my physical body. Okay, so that applies to you. If you're going to be in the moment, that means your spirit is in and around your physical body. Okay, because your body is always in the moment. Your body is always in the here and now. Okay, so that helps you have very, very strong energy boundaries because you're basically owning your turf kind of you know <laughs> like not in a gangster way <laughs> like turf but but you know kind of claiming what's yours your physical body is yours it's to help you manifest it's to help you experience all sorts of positive things um like you know your senses and uh actually deeper energetic experiences as well uh like deeper levels of fulfillment um, all sorts of things, you know, some people, I think mistakenly think that their body is not spiritual, you know, and they sort of equate their physical body with like greed and lust and blah, 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 you know, and I mean, I think that people can have imbalances and they blame it on their body, you know, <laughs> or people have imbalances and they blame it on their mind. There is nothing unspiritual about the mind <laughs> you know like i've i've heard various spiritual people be like oh yes well you need to quiet your mind because your mind will always you know get in the way of your meditations and i disagree i think if your mind is stuck and imbalanced it will get in the way of your meditations but i don't think the mind is inherently um something that would work against your spirit I think it is possible for your body, mind, and spirit to be together and work together all on the same team <laughs> and your spirit is in charge and you just, I mean, and when I say in general your spirit, I mean your spirit and your mind together um, and then your physical body is separate. Um, but you, to be in the moment, you are here in your, well, there where you are <laughs> not here <laughs> you're not here please but um you be in your physical body so i know that sounds good to most of you that are still watching this that haven't switched this video off by now <laughs> but you don't know how to do it okay so to be in the moment i mean just practice because most likely when you were born you knew how to do this and then just with the stresses of being around imbalanced adults, um, either at home or at school or much later in your adult life, um, you have just kind of gotten really messy boundaries with others and gotten stressed out and gotten their energy in your space. And so you kind of tune out 
you know, a lot of people, they come home from work and they just, they sit their physical bodies down in front of the couch and their, their spirit just kind of goes off. And they watch hours and hours and hours of television. And they're only a little bit watching and the rest of them is just gone. And they couldn't even get up if they wanted to. And, and advertisers know that. They know you're not gonna switch the channel. You're, you're just too much of a zombie to even mute a lot of times. <laughs> so take a deep breath if that's you. It's okay, please forgive yourself. I've worked with a lot of people who are really embarrassed about how, how fried, how how tuned out they get after a long day at work. So it's okay. The first step is always forgiving yourself. Try not to judge yourself about whatever imbalances you do have. You know, try to um, just be nice about it and just recognize that this is an imbalance and everybody has their own imbalances and you can work on them and get better, okay? Uh, so anyway, so to be present, uh, again, your spirit is in your physical body. So if you can wiggle your toes and feel your toes wiggle, feel the socks and the shoes around your toes, then a lot of your spirit had to come all the way into your physical body in order to do that. And because when your spirit uh, leaves your body, you go up, your spirit goes up. Uh, I mean, some people, when I see them, they're in front of their bodies, um, but generally everybody's a little bit above their body, sometimes way, way, way above their body. <laughs> so, um, so in order to say, like, feel your shoulders, you have to come a little bit into your body to do that. So you come in from the top of your head, of your head, and your spirit goes and you feel your shoulders. Okay. Now, you know, in order to feel your breath and feel your lungs and your rib cage, you have to come a little bit more in, right? In order to feel your butt move, you have to come a little bit more in. In order to feel, say, your ankles rotate, you have to come even more in and feel your toes wiggle. You have to come all the way into your body, okay? You could feel the, the skin on your fingertips, um, feel your toes wiggle. So that way you know your spirit came all the way in, okay? Um, and that is helpful in a lot of ways. Um, just by uh, coming in and experiencing your daily life and trying to do more positive behaviors and more positive thoughts, um, you will be releasing and letting go of energy blocks. You'll be releasing uh, repressed emotion, you'll be releasing um, other people's energy out of your space um, because when you're there there's less room for everybody else okay so that's why I am putting this in the series about having strong energy boundaries because you know just by being present just by being here showing up you know in your physical body um, you knock other people out of your space out of your mind out of your body um, and so you can think better um, and you know get things done you'll have more focus um and again like i said you know we all have baggage you know from the past we all have some emotional baggage maybe some self-love issues whatever right so you know yeah we could all go through 40 years of therapy and i'm not discounting some therapy is very productive um absolutely but i also think that life itself can be very therapeutic depending on how you live it aha uh -huh, i like that <laughs> so if you are present, okay, then life itself becomes therapeutic, okay? So if you are present while you're having breakfast and you're like, oh my God, that's the best tasting sausage ever, you know, and then you have your cup of tea and you're like, woohoo, that's, that's so yummy, you know, and you give yourself that time in the morning, it helps you to come here. It helps you to be present. And as you're generating enthusiasm naturally because you love that sausage, it's the best sausage ever, you're releasing repressed anger. You're releasing, you know, some person who doesn't like you out of your space. You're not thinking about it. You're just coming here and creating some enjoyable experience. Okay? So, again, I'm not saying overnight your whole life is going to be beautiful now, right? I'm just saying that in order to move forward, the more present you can be, the more often you can be present, the better. Okay, so just little times, come in, come on in, make sure you come in, and then over time you will space out less. You will be more present. Okay, bye.